John, we've known you for, I think, what, 10 years? Yeah. Okay, long time. And I, I know you've, you've come up with some great analogies, which I would love to go into later. I know you talk about the red carpet producer, which I still love that, that term. Anyway, mm. but one thing I want to ask you about is, and I heard you say it somewhere else, you said being in Hollywood and staying here for a length of time will not maybe change you, but it'll just make you more of what you already are? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Or? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was the advice that was given to me many years ago before I moved out here by a person who had worked in Hollywood with Jerry Bruckheimer. And he said, that, John, you, you want to take a really good stock of yourself here now because everything that you do here, everything that you think, everything that you believe, everything that you indulge in, good or bad, it will be available to you out here at a much greater level and degree and things that you don't even know about will, are abundant. And you said you will become more of who you are. Rather than it changing you, you'll actually be able to fulfill all of those things that are both inside of you and how you feel and the way you see the world and the kind of friends that you hang out with and the things that you go and do in your spare time. And so. I took that to heart. I didn't understand it other than the, you know, observable, okay, he's telling me to think about myself and think about who I am deeply. Uh, I wasn't worried in that regard, but uh, in my 18 years out here, um, I would say that that statement is still very true today. Um, not just for myself, but for any of us. I, I think it's it's um, Hollywood affords you a lot of things, not just the film industry, but Los Angeles. It's abundant. It's abundant everywhere you want to go. There are several Starbucks within walking distance. There are multiple places and things that you can do. And there's also a variety of people that maybe in your small town, there were only one or two. There are now dozens, if not hundreds. And a lot of them have uh, money. So. You know, taking that into perspective and, and looking at these last several years of growth, um, it can challenge you too. And the only answer that I have for that is really to look deeper within yourself. And some of those things that you have to look deeper within can be painful. They can uh, cause you to uh, feel disappointed about when you don't get what you want, uh, when you create something that is not received well, when you, um, when you don't win the uh, approval of certain people that you maybe want to work with or have access to or get to quote the next level. Um, but fundamentally, I think what it teaches you, that discipline of introspection uh, is one where you become more fulfilled and happy because of what you are actually doing that is true to yourself as opposed to trying to worry about what others outside expect of you. You have to start with your own internal expectations and those things may evolve but they, they can only evolve because of you, not because of someone else giving you an opportunity or not or someone else approving of you or not. Ultimately, at the end of the day, how you feel about yourself is, is person that's up in here and what's in here and that personal commitment was the one that I found in my journey to go through Hollywood which was who is really who am I who am I truly inside and what do I really believe about this world looking at things with new eyes being critical of myself not to the point where you put yourself down um, I think that's an external issue but really one where you go okay what do I want to do with my life? What are the things that I believe about this world? Do I believe in the bad things about the world? Do I also believe in the beauty of the world and what holds it all together? And how am I going to grow up? And how do I affect through art what I see and know to be true and give something to that that inspires how I feel in me to others and so it, it, it comes from a personal place where we all have journeys as artists, we're sensitive, we're very open people. Uh, 
but it, there is a, I guess you could say, if you're going to use that sensitivity to tell stories or say things, do it truthfully. Do it through the vehicle of art. And your personal commitment is one that is an evolution in yourself. So what I knew 10 years ago and what I know today is very different. But that doesn't mean that what I knew 10 years ago was wrong. It's just all I was able to do at the time, what I was capable of. And so drawing from those experiences, those hardships, even the times where you feel really down, you know, maybe even depressed in some cases, um, is not always at the time that you see that as a real opportunity, but it is in those moments that you're challenged the most that shows you not only what you're capable of, but what you're also really good at because you don't have everything going for you the way you expected it to or hoped to or wanted it to. And so you have to dig deeper. But if you're deep, you're digging deep is to blame or attack or get frustrated and say, you know, these people over here are causing me to, you know, well, they don't know you. I mean, they can do whatever they want to do, but it's about yourself and the journey through that process of becoming your truest self is the one that gives you the greatest success. At least I believe that because looking back between where I started on One Hour Fantasy Girl to now A Child's Voice and six movies later in 10 years, I am so grateful for that process because it had its ups and downs. And the only way that I can measure it is that I'm happier than I ever have been in my entire life. And I want to keep getting happier and I want to keep doing stories that are not talked about. I want to do things that help inspire the good in people because it inspires the good in me. So um, the truest part of those statements about people who are, um, you know, that it doesn't change you. Um, it's really that you do fulfill more of who you are if you allow yourself to commit to that uh, rather than trying to chase after things and make it so that you know somebody in Hollywood will quote pay attention to your work but really go out there for the reason that you want to you want to touch audiences you want to touch people I also said something years ago I didn't really understand at the time and I think it was more because of the digital world that we were emerging in 10 years ago after the financial crash and how everything was going digital and online. Obviously it's played itself out quite well um, and it's still evolving but uh, I said something that Hollywood is not the audience. It never has been and I would say that irregardless of what Hollywood does as an industry in its executives and, and all of those things. I think there are really great people working in there. I have no doubt that there are people that really want to make a difference and do good things in their work. But at the same time, um, chasing after those, those agendas and, and modeling yourself after them, I think really in art you can become bold and unique and different and stand out. And the only way I see people doing that is by commitment, full commitment to the belief in what they're doing, uh, such to the point that uh, it's not an issue for them about who's getting involved or not. They're determined to make the film at whatever level they have to do it with the capacity and the capabilities that they're, they're not waiting on for somebody else to come in there and, and, and you know, just say, it's okay, we got you, everything's fine now. It's really more so what's up in here and in here and trying to create that vision and align people who feel the same way you do are joining you on this journey and going through it because there's a commitment from within them. And I, I think as a producer there is a responsibility there to set that kind of tone uh, which is not an authoritarian one, it's one of, of your own self and attracting those kinds of people and that's how we've been able to do the movies that we've done uh, because we didn't have big funders. We, we did crowdsourced, uh, we did um, our own personal funds, we brought uh, other people into the mix that were kind of like silent investors, they just wanted us to do well, and uh, I can't wait for what we do next, really can't.